show a quick demo of how to use the coax clarifier. We have a little demo board here with uh, four coax wall plates. I have two um, uh, splitters hooked up, uh, daisy chained together. Um, and then uh, we're just going to kind of show how to use the, the coax clarifier. Okay, so first of all, um, the technician would put each one of the RF um, coax remotes on each one of the wall plates. Here we have four hooked up. Um, the technician then, then would uh, plug the coax clarifier into the, the input um, for the coax system. Again, this is on a dark coax system, so there should be no voltage over the lines. First of all, we'll hit the power button, which automatically goes into the quality test function. And here we're getting a quality of about uh, about 30 dB. And that's really good. Anything over uh, three bars is very good. So now I'm going to show you an example of when you um, have an unterminated connection. So here you can see I have a 75 ohm uh, terminator here um, on one of the ends. If I just slowly unscrew this, you'll be able to see the loss that we get. So now my dB drops all the way down to uh, about 16 dB, which is really bad. Okay, now you can see that I have uh, put the terminator back on, secured it, and we're back up to about 31 dB. Now we want to do the ID test. We want to see what remotes are out there and find out if there's any splitters involved. Unit goes through each one of the, the terminators and it sees it one through four. It sees all four terminators. So now we know there's definitely a splitter involved in this system. So now I've um, I unhooked one of the, the connectors off this, this one of the cables off of the splitter. Um, because I want to break it down and see what other uh, where the remotes go off of another splitter. So now if I hit the ID button again, it'll cycle through, and you'll be able to see that uh, remotes one and two are hooked up through um, this uh, two-way splitter here. Just again, it's another way to um, um, be able to figure out which wall plates are hooked up to which splitters in a system very fast. And Okay, now I just unhooked uh, this white uh, cable here from the second splitter because I want to see what the distance is between each splitter. And this is just a way, you know, for them to kind of figure out how far apart these splitters must be. Um, so we have that functionality on the coax clarifier for distance. We just select the length button and it gives us, it tells us it's 13 feet away. And again, we can switch between feet and meters very easy. And also um, uh, you can see that it says RG6 there on the screen. You can cycle between RG6 and RG59 and then you can put in whatever picoference for a different type of cable. Okay next uh, I'm going to show you how to use the tone generation function on the coax uh, clarifier. Um, just using the the track all probe that's uh, provided in the CC250 kit um, we can easily do this. And it can, we can use any type of a tracing probe. We'll pick up this tone generation. So just hit the, the music button. It kind of looks like the music notes on it. That's the uh, tone generation uh, function button. You'll see on the screen it has a, an S on it and the little balls bouncing back and forth. That's just letting you know that you're uh, sending a tone down the shield. Then if you hit the tone button again, it says P. That means it's sending down just the pin. That's where you're just looking for a precise cable. You'd have to put the probe right on the end of the cable, pick it up on the pin. Um, and then select the tone button again. And now we get pin and shield. You get a much higher tone because it's going down both pin and shield. Um, so then if you hold it down, let's go to pin and shield. And then we'll go cycle in here the different types of tones. And again, 
there are four different uh, types of tones. So very easy way to uh, tone out your uh, coax cabling. Okay, next up we're going to show how you can test splitter performance using the coax clarifier. First of all, you just uh, take the splitter out of the system, obviously, and then plug on the uh, 70 ohm um, terminators on the end of the splitter. And then you just hook a patch cord up from the splitter to the coax clarifier. And just hit the quality button. And here we're getting a whopping 6.7 dB loss. So obviously this is a really bad uh, splitter. And it has to be any, anything over 17 is going to be at least a decent uh, splitter. And okay, now I uh, hooked up the second splitter. It's a four-way splitter. Um, hooked up the patch cord into the coax clarifier and just hit the quality button. And we're getting about a 25 dB. So we're getting two bars. So at least it's uh, this splitter will work in a system. Um, it's not high quality, but it will work. Okay, now we'll do the last uh, uh, splitter. We have another four-way uh, splitter hooked up. Um, and just hit the quality button again. And we have a result of over 30 dB, about 32, 33 dB. So this is a very, very good splitter. Should have no issues with this one. Another quick note, if you just hit, hit uh, the power button again, you get a, a bright uh, backlit screen. Mm -hmm.